folks. Thanks for joining me today. So today's tutorial, we are a little bit behind. Actually, not we, just me. I'm behind. So this is one that I had painted uh, to celebrate Canada Day. Um, and that was on July the 1st. And I do apologize. I'm just getting it out to you guys now. However, um, it's well worth the wait. So um, I start off as always with uh, an art stone that I precasted uh, using the uh, Happy Dotting Company molds. If you want to get a hold of any of your own, uh, there is a link in the description below. Um, and today I am doing a technique that I have seen a fellow YouTuber do. And I've been watching her for uh, quite some time now and I get a lot of inspiration from her and um, she is uh, Rachel's Rocks. So if you get a moment after you're done watching my video, uh, head on over to her YouTube channel. She has a huge selection of videos. I believe right now she's over 300 of uh, different techniques and styles. She's very similar to what I do. Um, but today, her inspiration that I'm going to use as a technique in this stone is going to be using watercolor that is metallic. And uh, what I'm doing is um, making the fireworks in behind it. So I'm putting a little dot of it into the center and then I dab my brush off and then I just flick it so that I have um, these sprigs of color spraying out from all over the place from the center of that dot that I made. Now I wanted to do something else here and it didn't quite work out so um, I was trying to make those little sparkly things that come off of the fireworks when they start to die out and it didn't work so I decided to just use the colors that I have um, on my brush and I just did some more flicks with the brush just to make it um, uh, look more fireworky if that's a word <laughs> um, but anyways so that's what I did I'm going to be working more with these I just got my own set uh, now I know that um, Rachel from Rachel's Rocks, uh, she makes her own as well as you can get them from Etsy uh, from Yuli. And I only know this because of Rachel who has told me and her multiple viewers and her YouTube family um, many times. And uh, it's just, it's amazing stuff. I'm so happy that I finally got my own set. Um, I did my find mine in all places, believe it or not, in Winners, um, and it was a really cheap um, set, so I thought, why not? It's uh, something to try and play with, and then if I really like it, then I can um, start investing a little bit more, and I see a lot more of this in my future because, oh my gosh, it was so fun to do. Um so this is my Canada Day gnome that we're going to be doing. So like I said at the beginning, I used uh, one of the art stones from the Happy Dot and Company molds. I painted it black on the, ba on the um, back part of it. And then I painted it white as a primer on the top. And then I used my compass and I made a circle. And inside that circle, I used... Um, uh, I think it was midnight, no, navy blue. It was navy blue. Uh, just a reminder to let you guys know that if I forget to tell you what colors I'm using or if I miss say the color that I used, the correct colors will be listed in the description below along with their, uh, their maker. <laughs> so the brand and then the color, the actual color that I used. So this one was by uh, Delta. It was navy blue that I used for the background. And then um, for his nose, it was flesh tone, uh, also from Delta. 
And right now I'm using uh, Maple Sugar Tan. And I'm sorry guys, but when I saw the name of this color, I had to use it for this rock somehow. <laughs> Maple Sugar Tan. I mean, Canadians are famous for their maple syrup and having the maple sugar from the maple trees. And we do it every spring. Um, and it is the most tastiest things. I have them on pancakes and I have them on French toast and oh my gosh, just I could go on for hours about that. But we're not here for talking about food. We're here to talk about um, painting and the different techniques that we can use. So I use the uh, maple sugar tan also made by Delta and painted his hat. And now this is going to be a Royal Canadian, Canadian Mounted Police. So an RCMP as they're also known as. And um, so I have to give them one of those really uh, distinguished hats that really states that this guy is an RCMP gnome and he's celebrating Canada Day. So what I did was I used my homemade blending brush and I added a little bit of white while the tan color was still wet so that way I could blend it in and get all of the light shades. So that's where my light source is coming from. The fireworks are in behind him and they're shining onto the top of his hat. Um, now I'm using DecoArt Americana um, True Red it's called. And I thought, well, got to use true red because our Canadian flag is red and white. So had to go with the true red. So um, I had to do three coats of this on this guy for the red because what I should have done was painted it all white as a base coat. So then I wouldn't have the dark colors coming through onto the um, or coming through his jacket. Uh, which, by the way, most of it gets covered up once I do his beard. But we'll get to that. So I put one arm up so that um, he's going to be holding something a little later. And you'll see that when we get there. And now I'm just doing his pants. And I did his shoes. Um, and all I did with the shoes was I mixed um, some black paint in with some of that maple sugar tan. Just to give it a little bit of a different shade. It's hard to see, but it is there. Um, so now I'm just uh, refining his pants on um, how they're coming down to his boots. And again, his most of it will be covered up once I get his beard on there. But that's one of the last things that I do. Uh, so here I go for another coat of red paint onto his jacket. And I waited for the first coat to dry completely before I started to put this coat on. Um, uh, that's kind of funny. I just realized it's a coat of paint on his coat. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm, I'm a little bit quirky today. <laughs> so, anyways, so um, I'm going to let that dry. And while I let that dry, the black paint of his pants had dried. So they have these really bright yellow stripes down the sides of their pants. So I'm using Moon Yellow uh, from Folk Art uh, to put these on. And I was really impressed on how well it stood out. Uh, very bright, a nice color of yellow. Now what I'm doing is uh, putting a little hand on him on, at the end of his arm because, you know, that's where our hands go is at the end of our arms. <laughs> so I'm uh, just sort of using the flesh tone color um, and I'm not doing any shading on it whatsoever. Um, and now I'm using white paint uh, from DecoArt. And I am making the Canadian flag that he's holding. So I just thought very patriotic. Um, and I have to admit this one's way better than my Canada Day one that I did last year. And I actually had some negative comments about it because it wasn't all that, um, let's say, wasn't all that difficult. Uh, if you want to see it, you can look through my uh, listings that I have. Uh, but I do admit that it was not the best. This one, 110 million percent, way better. 
if that's even a, a number. <laughs> so um, now the color that I'm using for his beard is called Spice Brown and it is also by Delta and I'm just making him have one of those really big long mustaches that sort of sweep out on either side and then his beard uh, to come down um, over his jacket and down uh, to almost touching the ground so it's almost to the same part as where his boots are. So yeah this guy was a lot of fun to make. I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know as well that I do have other tutorials that will be um, edited and I'm hoping to get back on schedule starting this week so that I will be back to posting a video once a week on Fridays. So things have slowed down with the forest fires, at least for now. So I'm able to take the time and really focus on doing some fun painting. And like I said, I do have some tutorials. They're in different stages of editing, but they're just as fun as this one, if not more fun, funner, uh, more exciting. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's just been, it's been a, a rather long week. Um, anyway, so now I've got to put on that band across his hat, uh, and I'm just using the same paint that I had mixed up for his boots. So it looks black, but it's actually black mixed with some of the, uh, maple sugar tan. Just, it, I mean, the majority of it is black, just a little hint of brown, um, just to give it a little bit of a different feel for it. Um, and now I've got to do the Canadian flag. So I'm just painting on with some more of that true red. Here is a very good example as to how well it applies when it's painted on a white base coat. So learn from my mistakes. If you're going to use red, um, red's the only one that I really have a big issue with, but if you're going to use red, Make sure that you paint white as your base coat first so you're not continually covering it up with multiple coats of paint. Um, this I was one apply or one application and it w turned out beautifully. So uh, I'll be honest with everybody, I'm not the greatest at doing maple leaves, which is horrible because it is our um, or on our flag. So I did the best that I could. And I'm not too upset with it. Um, it turned out to look okay. So I was very impressed with it and um, impressed with myself. And yeah, I uh, think it turned out really good. Like the, the flag looks pretty awesome. So now I'm just outlining it uh, with some black paint. And this is true straight black paint from Deco Art. And I'm just outlining it. Uh, I'm going to outline the majority of this guy. Um, and I've still got to put in uh, some extra details on his sleeve for his big uh, gold buttons. And um, really define his beard and his mustache. So that's still coming up. And uh, just finishing outlining everything uh, so he looks great. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if uh, you like this guy, he's part of the gnome series that I've been doing throughout the year. So um, I was really pleased with him. Uh, I will be putting this guy up for sale in my Etsy shop. So make sure you take a, a visit over there once uh, you finish watching my video. I will also be posting uh, some more of my birthstone um soul symbol rocks so uh, I have got the ones that are missing painted up now photos are taken and they will be posted as well so I'm hoping to get that done by tomorrow which will be Monday so uh, don't rush over there right away tonight because uh, it's it's for me it's been a long week and this is Sunday um, just getting ready for going back to work and um putting in another uh, five days of, of, um, of work. So, uh, but I wanted to really get this guy done and out to you guys because he was so much fun. And I just, 
I thought I have to share it with you guys. It's been far too long for you to sit around and wait for me. So like I said earlier, I am hoping that with the fire slowing down, I will be able to get back on track and start posting again regularly on Fridays. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel uh, and make sure you ring that bell. And it'll uh, let you know whenever I post something new. And um, make sure you give me the thumbs up as well if you really like this video. Uh, and check out any of my other ones that I have. If you're new here, welcome. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, and um, I'm very happy to uh, share my knowledge of painting with you and um, I'd love to see your finished products. If you try any of these things, head over to my Facebook page. You can post photos there. I'd love to see your finished products. Um, so definitely check it out over there. Uh, I also post a lot of things that I don't film. So uh, I do paint a lot on uh, natural stone. Um, they're my Mad River Rocks. And uh, most of those are scenery, so they're more realistic. Um, and I just find that they're a little bit uh, more more room on them to paint so I can get into uh, into a lot more detail. So but don't get me wrong, I love doing these as well. Um, I, I do a lot of creativity into these art stones. And trying different techniques and different backgrounds and uh, different paint brushes, different, different, different. <laughs> so um, I love being able to just get my creativity out uh, and doing it on a either a handmade stone or a Mad River rock or a piece of wood, whatever it is, as long as I can get my creativity out and onto something is where I feel the most zenful, the most relaxed. So um, you guys just get the bonus of it because I film it. So now with the magic of video, um, all of a sudden all that white area that was around this guy is now black. So uh, it was painted. Uh, I forgot to push the play button or the record button. And so I went ahead and did it. And then, you know, you didn't get to see me do it. But I've done it a million times, so you've seen me do it before. So it's nothing new. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking uh, some glorious gold from DecoArt and encasing it so it's got a frame around it. I let it dry, and then I give it a coat of resin. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it, so get creative.